Do you ever have people come to your house for a party or something and you love to pull out your air fryer and just impress them like no other? Today I've got five air fryer appetizers and handhelds plus one that's gonna totally up level your hamburger game that you can actually prep and make ahead of time. And then when it's party time or game day time, you pull your stuff out and you cook it up and it's amazing. Plus at the very end of this video, I'm gonna share 20 more air fryer appetizers that you can make so you will just impress your guests. My name is Kathy. People call me the air fryer queen and heck, we're gonna air fry some goodness today. You ready? Let's go. Do you want a way to up level your burgers? This is it. Candied bacon in the air fryer. It's a game changer and it's crazy easy. Start with some thick cut bacon and then put some brown sugar on a plate. If you're gonna do a whole pound of bacon, you're gonna want about one and a half cups of brown sugar. I'm only doing five slices right now, so I just got about a half cup right here. And then sprinkle on some black pepper. No real measurement here, just to taste. And then I'm just gonna use a fork to kind of mix that all in, incorporate it and spread this brown sugar out. Then just put your bacon right in the brown sugar mixture, press it down in. That's just gonna coat both sides of your bacon. Then you've got some options here. You can put it right inside your air fryer basket, but it's a little tricky to clean afterwards, just that caramelized brown sugar. So I do go ahead and put it in parchment paper. Then I'm gonna just put that right inside my air fryer. The only downfall is that all the grease is gonna be right here with all the brown sugar, but you'll see that the benefits outweigh the cons. Then you're just gonna follow the regular bacon cook time, 380 for about 10 minutes. Now, after it's been cooking for seven or eight minutes, take a peek. I don't typically flip because it's just so messy, but you can see it's just kind of cooking in that hot caramelized glaze. But since it doesn't look like it's coming close to burning yet, I'm gonna just let it keep on going. And then when it's done, and check it out, you can just see it's just gonna sit here, rest and caramelize. If you need the air fryer, you can just carefully lift it out of the air fryer with that awesome parchment paper and set it on a plate to cool down. By the way, if you wanna snag my parchment paper, you can get it at pineandpepper.co. Oh my goodness, just look at that. I could accidentally eat this all day. This is really bad for you. <laughs> it's so good. Parchment paper for the win. Air fryer basket, still looking clean, yes. This next recipe is on page 60 of my cookbook. It's cheeseburger egg rolls, and it only takes six ingredients for the egg roll, and then six ingredients for the dipping sauce. I consider this one my copycat version of Cheesecake Factory cheeseburger egg rolls. So enjoy this one. You'll need some ground beef, American cheese, egg roll wrappers, onion, Worcester sauce, and pickle relish. First cook up your ground beef on your stove top and then while that's cooking, go ahead and dice up a quarter of an onion. You just need some minced onion, about a quarter cup. Then when your meat is almost done, I love to use the little trick that my friend Julia Pacheco taught me. You wrap paper towel around your spatula and just soak up all of that grease. It makes it so nice and easy. Then throw in that diced onion and a quarter cup of your pickle relish, and then one tablespoon of your Worcester sauce. Then go ahead and just mix that all up together. And now it becomes a cheeseburger when we add on six slices of American cheese. Let that melt for a little bit, and then just start mushing it all around to get it nice and incorporated. Now go ahead and scoop about a third cup of that mixture right into the center of your wrapper, and spread it out to form like a small little rectangle. Now pick up the right side and fold that in and then fold in the left side and then get the little bottom point, bring it all the way over the top and then you just roll it right up and boom, there you go. I like to set these in parchment paper and then I'm gonna just lightly mist them with oil. That's gonna give it a nice brown, crispy finish. Then just drop your parchment paper right in the air fryer. Gotta do a little bit of an adjustment. Pop it in the air fryer, and we're gonna air fry these at 380 Fahrenheit for just five to eight minutes. You will want to flip these halfway through, so be sure to hit that shake reminder button if you have it. And then when you're about halfway through cooking, give these a little flip, give it one more spray. And while that finishes up cooking, let's make the sauce. You need a half cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of ketchup, two tablespoons of pickle relish, one to two splashes of red wine vinegar, and a pinch of garlic powder and onion powder. Then you just stir that up and it's really the most amazing sauce. 
And here we go. Minutes later, these are nice and browned and crispy, and you're going to love them. Ooh la la. Mmm. Is that a happy dance? That's a happy dance. I love this from Cheesecake Factory, and this tastes exactly the same in my opinion. And I haven't had this, so. You haven't had it at Cheesecake Factory, mm -hmm. you're saying? Mm -hmm. But it tastes good. From the Yoder home. Okay, we're gonna make some jalapeno popper inspired pinwheel toasted sandwiches. And this is an easy one that you can make ahead and then air fry when you're ready to party. For this one, you'll want some burrito sized tortillas, about five of them, 12 ounces of softened cream cheese. I've got a trick I'm gonna show you. Two jalapenos. Don't worry, we're gonna take the seeds out so they will not be spicy. Then we got one and a half cups of cheese. We got a blend of sharp cheddar and some Monterey Jack cheese salt, pepper, garlic powder, and of course, bacon. We have a hybrid mix of bacon. We got some regular bacon and some candied bacon. If you've got cream cheese that needs to be softened and even butter for that matter, this is my little trick. You just preheat your air fryer. You don't need to do it like at a super high temperature. So I'm gonna bring it fairly low, like 300 Fahrenheit for three minutes. Preheat it, and then when it's warm, just set your cream cheese right inside. Pull this back up and just let it sit there. And it'll get nice and soft super fast. While your cream cheese is softening, go ahead and prepare your jalapeno peppers. So you just cut them in half lengthwise, de-seed them, and dice them up. You need about a third cup. And chop up about eight slices of already cooked bacon. And here we go, not too much later. We got some nice soft cream cheese. We're gonna get our trusty beaters out here and just whip this up. It's gonna make it a lot easier. Now go ahead and dump in all of your goodies. Oh, all of that bacon. Make sure you watch our candied bacon video. If you wanna add a little sweet to your savory, we're just gonna do salt and pepper to taste. So we just eyeball things around here. And lastly, a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then just stir. Since we beat that cream cheese up, it's not that hard to mix all of this together now. Remember that you could always cut this recipe in half if you don't wanna make a whole lot of pinwheels. But since you can make this ahead of time and just air fry in batches, that just means everybody's gonna have a nice hot and fresh cream cheese, jalapeno popper, whatever pinwheel sandwiches. And it's gonna be good. Now get about a third cup of the mixture and you're just gonna spread it right over your burrito sized tortilla in a nice even thin layer. And now you're just gonna roll it nice and tight. I'm just gonna use my little serrated paring knife here. I'm gonna cut off the little end piece. You can cut about five pinwheels from each tortilla. At this point, you could put them on a plate and cover them and keep them fresh until you're ready to enjoy, or you can just place them right in the air fryer. Give it just a little mist of oil, then pop it in the air fryer. We're gonna do 380 for five minutes. And now, ha, ah, looks so great, right? If you want, you can carefully flip these over, just toast up that other side. Then you just pop it back in, and this time you crank it up to 400, but only air fry for like two more minutes. And now you get to devour. Oh yeah, let's go. What even is this? Jalapeno popper pinwheel toasted sandwich yumminess. Okay. Mm. Mm. Wow. That was good. Mm-hmm. I was, uh, the smell of it, I was like, ugh, but that's actually really good. Mmm, creamy. I was not expecting that at all. Mm -hmm. five out of five. I've got an amazing veggie bake for you. Just hold on if you don't like the word vegetable. This is like absolutely amazing, so you've just gotta check it out. Prep all your veggies ahead of time, then you can assemble it and bake it up on your party day. Now you could do any type of veggies that you want. Today I'm using eggplant, a pepper, zucchini, broccoli, and a red onion. All you need to do is pick out what you wanna make and then cut it up into bite-sized pieces. Then spray your air fryer basket with some avocado oil and load it up with all of your cut up veggies. Then spray the veggies again to coat and stir them around. It's just very important that everything is evenly coated with your avocado oil. Another option would be to put all of your veggies in a bowl and then 
pour on some oil and stir it up, but I didn't want to get another dish dirty, so I'm just doing it right in the air fryer basket. Now you're going to put this in the air fryer at 380 for 10 minutes, and while that's cooking, I've got a super yummy cheese topping for you to make. In a new bowl, get a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese, a quarter cup of breadcrumbs, and then your choice of seasonings. You could do Italian seasoning or something called Herb, Herb de Provence, I think I'm saying it right. And you're just gonna add in whatever you want. It's kind of one of those to taste type things. You can see I'm being pretty generous with the amount I'm adding. It might've been like a tablespoon. Then stir that up and set it aside. And you got one more dish to pull out to make an amazing sauce. You just need one cup of canned tomatoes with chunks or crushed tomatoes, something that has some good texture to it. And then throw in a little salt and pepper to taste and either some fresh basil or ground basil to taste. Now the veggies are almost cooked, but we're going to finish them off by sprinkling that dry cheese and breadcrumb mixture right over the top. And then take that tomato sauce mixture and spoon that right over the top. And then lastly, sprinkle on some mozzarella cheese to taste. And then you're going to throw it back in the air fryer at 380 for about two to three minutes and check out this beautiful veggie bake. Oh my goodness. What is this mom? It's vegetable amazingness. Pizza. It's essentially a veggie crustless pizza. Okay. Veggie bake. Ready? <laughs> what the heck? Wait, that is... That's amazing that right is, there is what that is. Oh, that was for me. <laughs> you want to try it? Everyone thinks Olivia only likes sugar, so do you want to prove them wrong? I don't even like, I don't even know what I'm tasting, but it's good. Mm-hmm. How many stars do we give this? This is, this is 5.0. This is amazing. I, I would give it a 5. But? It's, de okay, it's definitely a 4.5. It's not a 5 for me. Because it's vegetables? No, because my throat was itchy for some reason. Oh. <laughs> so if my throat was itchy, it'd be a 5, but. Look this much, a half. Mm. Just a little half. A point five. Um, now, I couldn't help myself. I have a bonus recipe for you, and at the very end, I got a link to 20 more handheld appetizer recipes for you that you can make in your air fryer. This one is sweet potato dessert fries, and boom, they are so easy and so delicious. Enjoy it. Get yourself a bag of frozen sweet potato fries in your air fryer. And I don't usually like to oil frozen fries, but in this case, I'm going to because I have the cinnamon sugar mixture. It's a third cup of brown sugar. I'm just gonna mix that up. You could also use white sugar, but I love what brown sugar does when it comes to caramelizing. Just sprinkle on some brown sugar, toss the fries to coat. You may or may not need a little more oil. Just coat it everywhere. And for frozen sweet potato fries, I can never remember, so I gotta look at my cheat sheet. 360 for 15 to 18 minutes. We will start with 15. And while that's cooking, get a cup of powdered sugar, two to three tablespoons of heavy cream or milk if you want it less creamy, and a quarter teaspoon of pure vanilla. You're gonna make some delicious icing. And to make it uber beautiful, here's a little trick. Just grab a sandwich bag, throw it in a little cup, scoop your icing right into the bag, close it up, and right here, we're gonna snip it. And let's take a peek at it. Oh, it's looking great. But you know what I should have done? I don't know why I didn't think about it, but I'm about to have a big old mess with that brown sugar. I should have used my parchment paper liners. Dang it. For now, I'm just gonna shake it and let it finish. And this is done. Oh, look at that, beautiful. You let it cool for just a second. Drop this into the parchment paper I wish I would've used. And now for the fun part, the icing. Oh, look at that. I bet I got some taste testers coming. Someone just got home from school and it must be time for dessert, right? Yeah. Mmm. Wow, I was not expecting that. That's so good. That is good. Do you even like sweet potatoes? Not really. No. This will work for anyone. I'm just like bamboozled at how good it is. Now I have 20 more Super Bowl or party recipes for you right here. And of course, make sure you're not making any of these air fryer mistakes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.